with the amount of aileron you're doing, okay? Because then you start getting into the almost a... Um, I've always done, uh, done them with all full flaps and just come on so, down. So with Piper on their their thing, they only like to do it in their manual. It says they don't suggest it more than t uh, 25 degrees of flaps of, of a slip. I got you. Uh, we'll read that manual one more time before you go, but... Uh, I've not read the manual, but that's what I was. Well, I did. That's what I was. They don't advise so. it because uh, the way with full flaps, it creates a um, a baffle over the uh, over your elevator. Um, so we'll read. Let's keep doing 25 degrees of flaps. Okay. Um, because I'm literally 90 percent sure. Okay. That's positive. fine. You're, you're the teacher. Um, but uh, yeah, let's do that. Um, I was gonna see some. Um. I don't know. Do your thing. If I think about it, I'll tell you. Uh, oh yeah, I was saying, watch your aileron use on a slip, okay? So once you, you know, you're not going to get in cross control stall because we're really not pulling back and we're not getting too slow. But when you're using too much aileron with full opposite rudder, that's when you kind of start getting into a... Uh, I don't know. It kind of a gray zone. So try to be straight at the center line of the runway before we start our slip, okay? You can use aileron. I'm just saying try not to use too much of it, okay? But like maybe full deflex, okay? But you're doing good. You're you're fine. You're within limits and felt safe, so you're fine. Uh, didn't make my call, but that's all right. All right, you can tell me we're turning final. Yeah. Oh, traffic, Warrior 43456, turning final runway 36, touch and go, fully. All right, 25 degrees flaps, watch your airspeed. And full traffic, child, 396 is over the farm field, 17 to 3,000 moving. Go. And push that nose down. Down. That power out. Yeah, pull that power. Because no. you're right at 80, so you want to not try to get any above 80. Keep that nose coming right down. There you go. And three nine six zero two. Now slip to land. It doesn't have to always be towards the the runway. Once you feel like you're at a good descent angle, you're done slipping. You know what I mean? So like right right here looks good to me. This is where you would kind of flatten out. Yep. Put your last notch flaps in. Keep coming down. There you go. Start your flare. Keep it coming off. Yep. There you go. Keep it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. There you go. Nice job. I got, I got have 400 foot, right? 400 foot? Yeah. You're doing good. Okay. Foley, traffic warrior 43456 on the go. Foley. So, um... Uh, yeah, like I was saying, it as soon as you get to a descent angle, that looks right in your head. Well, you're, you're still still good for you, right? Yeah, whatever, and then puts you in a safe place to land. You know what I mean? We're only trying to lose altitude, and not increase airspeed. So, yeah, right. You know, wherever you think you are, you're good. And uh, the thing, because you want to get those last notch of flaps in if you can. If not, you don't need to put that last notch of flaps in. But if you can get. Uh, let's switch tanks real quick while I'm thinking about it. All right, let's wait until our downwind real quick. Uh, and then we'll do it just so we're focused on everything else. And we're at the highest we can possibly be. Foley traffic, Warrior 43456, left crosswind, went right 36, Foley. Um, so, just kind of using that SRM, right? So, if we were, you know, not at a good enough altitude to do a 360 or 180 and land, let's not touch anything fuel related, right? Yeah. Let's wait till we're in the downwind. When we know we're in the downwind, we know we can hit the runway at any point, really, right? Yeah. So yeah. then, if we're going to mess with the fuel, then we want to do that in the downwind where we know if anything does happen, we're going to be able to reach the runway. All right. Foley traffic, Warrior 43456, uh, left downwind, runway 36, Foley. All 
All right. So fuel pumps on. Mixture's full rich. You can uh, switch that tank over. Immediately we go right over to our fuel pressure. We still got fuel pressure. Uh -huh. And normally if we were in flight, we would turn it off, but we're yeah, in the pattern, right. so we'll leave it on. All right, what, what do you want to do again? We'll do another slip. Another slip? Okay. One more slip. All right. A little bit low on the pattern, but that's all right. Make it forward on the down one across the face. I'm definitely going to read that manual when we get out of here today. I'll let you know. I'm pretty sure. I'm Like I said, I'm like 95% okay, right. sure it's no more than 25. And that's just recommended. Obviously, you can if you have to, but why? Right. If he's going to, and he's very familiar with it, Piper. I'm sure. Because he, he owns a Piper himself. So he okay. when I did my check ride with him, he was very familiar with Piper and what the manual says and, you know, all that. So the POH. So we'll look that up tonight, um, and I will, you know, have confirmation with you. All right. Holy traffic, Warrior 43456, turning left, uh, base 1, right, 36, Foley. Holy traffic, the uh, Scout 396 is going to be west of Weeks Bay, last call. I'd stay at about this altitude. Lowly traffic, Warrior 43456, turning final runway 36, Lowly. Watch that airspeed, don't want to get any slower. I'd wait a little bit, because you're really kind of almost at a good descent angle right here. I'd wait just a second before you do it. Alright, start it. Start it? Yep. Now, whenever you think you're at a good descent angle, that's where you're going to stop your slip. There you go. Hold that power. Radio check. Yes, up. Keep it off. Hold it off. Hold it off. Alright. Put the flaps down. Alright. No more on the go. Foley traffic. Warrior 43456 is on the go. Foley. And 456, how are you here? You hear he's fine. Thanks. So, you didn't put that last notch flaps in, but that's okay. Yeah. You know, if, uh, if you don't have time and you don't want to mess with, you know, well, what it's going to do. Well, speed looked pretty good to me. Yeah, so, like I said, um, however to land. I mean, slipping to land is, like like I said, we're just getting on that descent angle we like. And you don't have to increase that. If you don't feel, if you feel like we've got plenty of runway to use and you don't need to put that not last notch of flaps in, you don't need to. You know, you're just going to be a little faster.